Greetings everybody, today I have the Kowano Runt. Look at this thing. This is like a little spiky ball of a fruit. And to me, this looks exactly like those little massage balls that you're meant to like rub on your feet, like a reflexology massage ball. Looks just like it. Ooh. Yeah, feels like one too. Even if this is not a very tasty fruit, at least it does serve a function as a massage ball. And this was sent to me by Joey. Joey, thank you very much. Uh, I'm excited about this because this is a relative of the Kuano melon. This obviously looks different than your typical Kuano melon. It is yellow in color and it's round instead of being uh, bright orange and kind of like uh, oval shaped. Now, regular Kuano melons are kind of interesting because you can find them rather often at supermarkets. Like, big box supermarkets will sometimes have these just kind of languishing away in their produce department, like in an exotic fruit section. I think the reason why Kuano melons are so appealing to big box supermarkets is that they last a while. They last a long time on the shelf. So it's a rather small investment to buy a box of these, put it in the produce department, and then eventually somebody is gonna walk through, think it's cool, and get it on an impulse buy. The problem with Kuano melons is that although they look really, really cool on the outside, and when you cut them open, they look really cool on the inside, the flavor is kind of underwhelming. It's fine, but it's not anything nearly as weird as how it looks. Uh, I'm not sure what the case is going to be with this variety. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to have a little bit of a different flavor to it. But either way, still looks really, really cool. And a lot of times Kuano melons are actually used to represent alien fruit in like sci-fi movies and stuff. And um, for a good reason. A fun fact about Kuano melons is that these are from Africa and they're specifically from desert areas in Africa. And they are prized in these areas because the Kuano melon is one of a few plants that can offer a source of water. Another fruit that grows in desert areas of Africa that is prized for its water is this guy here, the Makatan, which is a different variety of watermelon, but very, very different than watermelon. This also was sent to me by Joey, so Joey, thank you. I'm gonna review this in a different episode, though. inside of it looks uh, pretty similar to a regular Kuano melon. It's full of these green jelly-like seeds. The pulp in here is a little bit uh, tighter and more difficult to access than the uh, typical Kuano, but it is coming out. There we go. This tastes pretty much exactly the same as your typical Kuano. Won't lie. Um, it's got a strong cucumber kind of taste. Maybe a little bit like watermelon rind. That sort of thing. There is a tartness to it that doesn't really exist so much in a cucumber. Right? Cucumbers are not very tart. This is a little bit tart. I say the tartness on this is like a 2 out of 10. There's maybe a little bit of sweetness to it, but not a lot. It's like the sweetness of a cucumber, you know, like a 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10. A lot of people do not like the texture of regular Kawano because it's like you've got these little cucumber sort of seeds with a little capsule of gel-like pulp around it. Some people don't dig on that. I'd say on this, it's a little bit easier to take. This is maybe a little bit drier in a way. Those bits of pulp are also maybe a bit uh, smaller, you know, smaller, drier. And in that way, if you don't like the texture of regular Kuano, you might like this one better, but it's pretty close. So it's not the most interesting in flavor or texture 
and honestly it's very similar to the regular Quano, but you can't get around just how cool this thing looks. Regular Kiwano melons look really cool. This one also looks really cool. The fact that it's round and a different color and still has like this kind of like vibrant green on the inside. I love stuff like this. I think this is really interesting. The fact that this is used as um, an, ex an alien fruit in like sci-fi movies does make sense. It's got a really interesting look to it that you normally just like don't get to see. So I think that's about it. Uh, thanks again to Joey for sending this to me, and I will see you all next time. I would like to give a big shout out to Lofty Rex and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon.com is basically how I can afford to go on all the adventures I do on this channel. So if you enjoy my series and you want to help support me, check out the link in the description below. If you don't want to go on Patreon, I also have t-shirts for sale like this one here, the Durian Anatomy shirt. That is available on my website, which I also put in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time.